restaurants open here at the Inner Harbor today. I want to give you a live look behind you. What you both were talking about there, the armored vehicles uh, and the soldiers here, just in case the ripple effect of all of this is having an impact on tourism that experts say will cost this city millions. Guests that staying in hotels don't even want to leave the hotel. They don't want to go two, three blocks. For Derek Vaughn, that means a 30% drop in business here at the Corner Bistro and Wine Bar, and he's in good company. Everyone, Little Italy, all of us have been affected. Charles Street, Soda Sopra, everyone, everyone's just been affected, and it's not good. I think our, our hoteliers are all, you know, we've all lost a little bit of business. We've had a couple of convention cancellations here. Tom Noonan with Visit Baltimore says those two conventions were here setting up. At, at one point they were definitely going to stay, and then Monday happened, they decided for their safety of their attendees, and we fully endorsed that decision. Those losses alone, he says, will cost the city 2,500 visitors with $1.4 million in economic impact. We hated losing any business, but the reality is there are bigger issues than, than $1.4 million. It's more about making sure that, the, that if anybody's going to be there, going to have a great experience here, they're going to have a safe experience. Vaughn is doing his part, banding together with other business owners to create Charm City Business Strong. Charm City Business Strong is going to be a campaign that we're going to push and we're going to push it because we're going to need it because we're going to have to help uh, fix the brand that has taken a hit today. And, and God knows how long this hit's going to take. Back out here live now as you look at those armored vehicles, I can tell you that at least one convention decided to stay in town. The Food and Safety Conference is happening right now at the convention center. I'm also told another convention will be postponing for another couple of weeks. Reporting live at the Inner Harbor, Jackie Conjado, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right.